welcome to the www.sakalavidya.com viewers so far we have completed already in the last episode the few of the problems which may appear in various competitive entrance examinations so in this episode also the similar type of the questions we are we are going to discuss the basically more emphasis will be laid on shortcuts i mean to shortcuts means tips and tricks because so in the you know that you know pretty well so in competitive entrance examination we have to crack the problem so within stipulated time so in order to crack the problem in stipulated time so we have to follow some strategies so those strategies we shall discuss in this episode also but moreover so one thing remember even you have to practice if you have the time even traditional method also even go for the all the basic concepts formulae which are related to the your topics so you are concerned competitive entrance examination whatever stipulated syllabus is there you have to strictly follow that syllabus and you have to prepare then you will get good rank in your competitive entrance examination shall we go to the next episode okay thank you let us go to the next episode so first problem in this episode the value of the value of integral 0 to 5 root of 25 minus x square dx a option 25 pi by 4 b 5 pi by 4 c 125 pi by 4 d 625 pi by 4 okay this we could remember like this int integral 0 to a root of a square minus x square dx this appears to be same thing itself only this is nothing but pi a square by 4 pi a square by 4 or we can write 1 by 4th of area of the circle us radius a that means a units so therefore our answer i is equal to 1 by 4 into pi into phi square that is 25 by 4 this is the answer so first option is the right option a dear www.sakalavidya.com us so besides all these episodes even we are going to upload diploma engineering mathematics and engineering mathematics for btech and bg students shortly stay tuned with our www.sakalavidya.com website or youtube channel sakalavidya.com even our follow our facebook so if you have any queries please post on a comments okay thank you i hope you may follow follow our website our youtube channel please share and subscribe to the www.sakalavidya.com or sakalavidya.com okay shall we go to the next problem okay let us move to the next problem if x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 then 
the value of sigma r is equal to 1 to 27 x to the power of r plus 1 by x to the power of r whole square a 72 b 45 c 54 d 81. So, very very interesting problem this is very typical also. So, it may appear in even JE mains examination or even all the competitive entrance examination related to the engineering throughout our country or other countries also this question is very very important. So, first if you observe the given equation x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 it does not possess real roots it has imaginary roots. Do you expect what are the roots? Yes, you are correct omega omega square are the roots of this equation that means x is equal to omega or omega square. Since x is equal to omega and omega square ok. So, first substitute here x for omega here x for omega then find out r is equal to 1 r is equal to 2 r is equal to 3 r is equal to 4 up to r is equal to 27 ok. Let us do it right or not the roots of the roots of x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 or omega omega square. We know that we know that 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to 0 and omega cube is equal to 1. Suppose now you do like this r is equal to 1 what do you get here x plus 1 by x that means here omega plus 1 by omega. See 1 by omega is nothing but omega square by omega cube omega plus omega square omega plus omega square means you get minus 1 this is minus 1 and also we have here square also do it no problem square 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 that means if r is equal to 1 we get 1 r is equal to 2 see here x square plus 1 by x square whole square omega square plus 1 by omega square 1 by omega square means multiply with omega here omega omega by omega cube this becomes omega. So, omega square plus omega this is also minus 1 minus 1 square you get 1. So, if you go for r is equal to 3 here x r is equal to 3 means x cube and 1 by x cube omega cube plus 1 by omega cube whole square here also. So, this is 1 plus 1 square 2 square this is 4. So, that means after that 4 is equal to you get 1 after that 5 you get 1 after that 6 you get 4 like that. So, that means sum of the first three terms let us observe sum of the first three terms. So, that is equal to you get 1 plus 1 plus 4 that will be 6 sum of the first three terms is 6 next sum of the three terms is 6 next three how many sum of the first sum of the three terms we can make you have to see. So, here 1 to 7 means you can write like this therefore, sigma r is equal to 1 to 27 
this x r plus 1 by x r whole square can be written as like this. See 1 plus 1 plus 4, 1 plus 1 plus 4 and like that dash dash last you can write 1 plus 1 plus 4. How many times this will be 9 times because here already 3 times so 9 into 3 total 27. So, that means you can write 9 into 6. So, answer is 54. Am I correct? So, option C is the right answer.